If I can start raising human children, maybe I could probably start raising baby snakes too. So that that's kind of my plan. Oh, you trying? You try? You want to stand up? You try to kick so you can stand? How about sit? Hanging out with Make Make today. It's Eli's favorite snake. He uh, named this snake when the boys were super into astronomy. Make Make, one of the dwarf planets in our solar system. I know I'm hot sun. What? Hot sun? Yeah. You gonna do the hot sun too? Close to Jupiter. Is close to Jupiter? Yeah. She's usually 50 shades of gray lighter than this, but right now she's just kind of looking dark or than usual, which is fine. Hopefully she'll produce her first clutch next season. Air conditioner's on. Sorry, I had to unplug the refrigerator and turn the air conditioner off because the boys are back at school two days a week and it's super quiet in here. I want to take advantage of the, the peace and the quiet. Wow, you hear that? I wanted to make this video for Eli. It was his birthday the other day. We took him to the beach and my awesome cousin had a sailboat and we went out sailing and out to this little sand spit and it was just a great time Eli fishing with the grandparents and and just having his his fun old Eli time and I wanted to uh, just take a moment to honor him for his birthday and and talk about Eli and what a special kid he is he is a very special little boy I just wanted to capture this little sleepy moment bud I just want you to know that mommy and daddy love you very much I'm sure every parent thinks that their kid is special well, no, that's not true. I know plenty of parents who didn't care about their kids, so that's not true at all. Eli is special. There's that nature versus nurture deal that I hear people talk about, and sure, we try to raise our kids to be well, to be good. But Eli has something that we didn't teach him, and it's not something I see often in, in kids. It's this kindness and this compassion and this caring. You don't see that a lot in boys, naturally. And he's had it since the first day I can recall him interacting with other people. I always talk about this. He, he was playing soccer with all the other kids running after the ball. And this one kid falls down and he stops while everybody runs past him to pick that kid up and help him along. And because we have more fun together, right? And we don't, nobody gets left behind. And that's, that's Eli. He's such a kind, caring, compassionate kid. So exuberant, so excited about life. His eyebrows... <laughs> the expressions like he's just so passionate about just everything and he's really just a special kid and uh i'm so grateful to call him my son i feel like i've maybe done a couple of videos where we just single out eli on his birthday and he is the middle child for now and his older brother and younger sister both share a birthday so it's kind of perfect on his birthday he has his own day if you're gonna be the middle kid at least you got your own day and you don't have to share your birthday with your brother or sister like his brother and sister do. But yeah, he's just a special kid, man. Eli is just a joy to be around. Everybody who hangs out with him, all his friends, all the friends he makes, he's just a, he's just a real special little dude, man. And I just wanted to take a moment to dedicate an entire video to him. Happy birthday, Eli. What you doing, Eli? Oh, got no one here. What you doing, buddy? Hi, Dad. You like the snakes? Of course you like the snakes. Oh, hello. Dad, hello. <laughs> come to Daddy. Yeah, come to Daddy. Come to me. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Eli's first time sleeping in the back of the truck. He's pretty excited about it. Ah, oh, there he is. There's my time. There's my time. 
so happy. Hi, Marsha Bill. <laughs> Hi, my boy. Daddy home. Daddy home. Daddy home. Oh, how you doing, bud? Did you have a fun time? Did you miss me? Yeah, I miss you too, bud. I had a good time. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. That's a perfectly good apple. Apple! Yeah, there's apples everywhere. What? 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 It's wet. Huh? Did it rain? Huh? Did it rain? Yeah. Yeah? Cold. Is it cold? Yeah. Thank you. Huh? you know if there's a red button. She said we could do some when Noah's done with his school. Did she? Mommy is tripping. She is. All right, Eli. Eli, Eli, Bobili. Eli is one of those kids that makes being a parent so much fun. I think the best word that I've ever heard to describe him was enthusiastic. He's so expressive and he's so... Lots of ease. Eli, enthusiastic, expressive. His face says it all. He's got a really sweet soul. I just remember as a baby, he would just sit on my lap and watch Noah playing and perfectly content. He was just such a good little baby, so sweet. I just love him. He's such a fun kid. He's so smart and he's just got such a big heart. I've seen several examples of that, but he just really cares about people. He's compassionate and and I love how he's sensitive, you know? Sometimes it's like, okay, you don't really need to be crying over this specific thing, but it's okay. You know, you just kind of like accept, um, accept them. And that's part of him is he's sensitive and feels a lot. Yeah, he's he, like seeing him the other day at the scooter park was really cool. Just seeing him kind of step out of his comfort zone and be a little nervous, but like push through it and I just love Eli. He's really, really special boy. And um, he just cracks me up. He makes me laugh all the time. If you've ever met him, you probably pick up some of that joy from him too. And yeah, second grade. He's, uh, he's doing great. And I just love him more than I could ever say. You're eight years old now. No. You're not? No, I'm seven. All right. <laughs> So you're, you're seven years old now. Yes. How does it feel? Good. Yeah. How does it, how does it feel any different than being six? Uh, yes. Yeah. What feels different about it? Um, I feel that I'm a little bit wider and a little bit wider. Yeah. Wider or wiser? Um, wiser. Oh. <laughs> I messed up the word. <laughs> how do you feel wiser? I feel like I. I forget what wiser means. What do you think wiser means? Maybe like smarter or maybe you make some more good decisions. Hmm. What better decisions do you think you're going to make now that you're seven than when you were six? Um, probably not fuss about stuff and do whatever you or daddy or you or mommy tells me to. And that's it. 
what's something that you really want to do while you're seven? Hmm. I feel like going to the bounce house again. <laughs> well, what's something that you haven't done before that you want to do now that you're seven? You got a whole year to do it. I know. If there's one thing, if you can only pick one thing that you really like, I want to do this now that I'm seven, and before I turn eight, I want to do this. I feel like I want to go fishing in a lake and camp there. That's what I want to do. We haven't. Have you not camped and fished at a lake before? Yes, you have. Well, it has been a really long time. Please. Please what? Please, can I go have fun and play? Yeah. Yeah.